In line with our stoichiometry, I just want to take a look at this worked example in terms of um, a paint pigment changing from colour to blue to green and so on. But it's based on a stoichiometry um, a question, based on stoichiometry or stoichiometric calculations, you want to put it that way. So let's take a look at this thing here. Some of the blue pigment azurite used by an artist in a picture painted in 1600 has changed over the years into green malachite according to the following balanced equation again as i told you before when you're dealing with stoichiometry the heart of every stoichiometric equation or question is the balanced equation okay so this is going to tell us everything we need to know about the rest of the question analysis shows that the only copper containing pigments in the painting are azurite and malachite and that the picture now contains 3.81 grams of copper. Okay, what mass of pure azurite contains 3.81 grams of copper? Now, in a situation like that, we've got no reference, all right? What mass of azurite contains 3.81 grams of copper? If there's no reference, there's no figures mentioned in the previous part of the question. So all we can do in a situation like that is what every chemist should do, and that's fall back on one mole. Okay, so what I mean by that is this, if there is one mole of Cu3, let me just put this down here, of, uh, blue, of Cu3, CO3, twice OH2, I'm going to simply ask myself a question, well, if I had one mole of this, how much of that would be copper? So first of all, how heavy is one mole of that? And one mole of this thing here, three coppers. That works out as 363.55s, 363.55s, plus uh, two CO3s, so that's 12 and 48 twice, 12 and 6 is 120, plus OH twice, which is 8, 17 times 2. Okay, answer comes out as 344.65 grams. So that's how heavy one mole of that is, okay? Now, we're asked, look at the two words, azurite and copper. So what's the ratio now between azurite and copper in terms of one mole? Well, in here, there would be how much copper? There would be three coppers in this. So the amount of copper is three times 63.55, and that multiplied by three, that works out as 190.65. So in azurite, in one mole of azurite, there will be 190.65 grams of copper. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to find out how much azurite contains 3.81 grams. And this is a normal mathematical situation we find ourselves in. Because I call these rectangular questions. All right? Three corners filled, one corner to find. The key behind all of this is to multiply the two diagonals that are filled. So you're going to multiply these two by one another, and then you're going to divide by 190.65. So 344.55, I've had that, multiplied by 3.81, divided by 190.65, that comes out as 6.88, okay. So that comes out as, let me just take that out there, six, take that out. So it comes out as 6.89 grams. That's it. So if there's 190.65 grams of copper in that mole of azurite, then there will be 3.81 grams of copper present in 6.89 grams of the azurite. It's a simple ratio equation. Okay, You just reduce your ratio down from this ratio here down to this one. Okay, and of course, what you could also do is you could have divided in 381 to 190 and see how many times smaller 381 is, and then divide the answer into 344. It could be the same thing. I just prefer to do it by, if there's three corners of this thing filled, multiply the diagonal and divide by the term that's left over. So 6.89. Part two, calculate the maximum mass of malachite that will be eventually formed from this mass of Asia right now. What we've got to do is go back to our balanced equation. Okay, so we have, I'm going to, have to take this down properly. We have two Cu3, CO3, twice, OH twice, plus H2O, goes over to give three Cu twice, CO3 with an OH twice, and then 
carbon dioxide, CO2. Okay, now look at the question says, calculate the maximum mass of malachite that will eventually be formed from this mass of azurite. What mass of azurite? Well, the mass of azurite that we've just found up here, the 6.89 grams. So now I know what I'm starting off with. I'm starting off with 6.89 grams of azurite. Okay, so that's my starting quantity as far as this stoichiometric equation is concerned. Now, we can't compare substances through grams. We've got to do the moles. So I'm going to divide this by the mass of azurite, which we already discovered was 344.65. And that's going to give me, if I do that properly, 6.89, 6.89 divided by 344.65 gives me 0.0. Two. Okay, so now that I have the number of moles of azurite, I can get the number of moles of everything. Look at the ratio. Two is to one between this and the water. So two is to one, that's going to be half, 0 0.01. One is to three, that's going to give me 0 0.03 underneath the malachite. And then that's a one in front of the CO2, 0 0.01. So now I've got everything that I need. So what are they asking me? Calculate the maximum mass of malachite that will eventually be formed from this mass of azurite. So the malachite is there. I want to turn this into grams and I've got to go back again and work out the mass of this stuff. So this time I've got two coppers. So that's 63.55 twice. And onto that I'm going to add CO3, which is 12 and 48, that's 60. And onto that I'm going to add 17 twice, which is 34. So that gives me 221, 221.1 grams. I multiply that by 0 0.03 and I end up getting 6.63 grams of malachite. Okay. And the last part of the question then, calculation wise, what is the volume measured at STP? Ah, now just be careful. STP. We're talking about gases and STP, so we're dealing 22.4 litres. That's just to help you to remember. So that means it's carbon dioxide I'm looking for here. So I'm going to take the 0.1 moles of carbon dioxide and multiply that by 22.4 litres because that is standard uh, molar volume at STP. And that's a hundredth of that. That's 0.224 litres. OK, <clears throat> last part. So that's my calculations done. So this is part one. OK, then part two goes into the balanced equation which is this one here. So there's the answer to part two. It's part two. And part three is this one here. Okay, what does part four ask? Suggest a way that further deterioration of the painting by this chemical reaction could be prevented or delayed. Look, you can think of anything. What's causing the change? What's causing the deterioration? The deterioration is caused by exposure to the elements, all right? So therefore, what do you do to prevent corrosion? You try to cut it off from the elements. So what I would suggest would be something like maybe a varnish. Yeah, maybe don't expose it to light. Don't expose it to humidity. Anything at all that's going to be a conservation practice would be a perfect answer. So the answer to part four is any conservation practice. Now you have to pick one, of course, but any conservation practice would be fine. So I'm just going to say uh, varnish painting. The varnish the painting. And the reason why I'm saying that is it cuts off oxygen from the atmosphere. OK, so that's it. So again, quite a twist on a normal stoichiometric question when they're asking you what mass of azurite contains this of copper. There's no reference. So we have to go back to one mole of azurite and ask ourselves, well, if I had one mole of azurite, how much copper would that contain? And then based on that ratio, as I said here, 344.65 grams of azurite would contain normally 190.65 grams of copper. Then we can, by ratio reduction, say, well, if that's the case, then 3.81 grams of copper will be present in 6.89 grams of azurite. Second question then directly refers to the balanced equation because it's asking you about the relationship between azurite and malachite. So that means you've got to go to your balanced equation. So write out your balanced equation as given and it says from this mass of azurite, so that's the mass you've just calculated which is the 6.89, turn the 6.89 into gram into moles by dividing by its own mass which we've already worked up above. We get 0 0.02 and then apply the moles in the same ratio as 
the ratio and the balanced equation. So if you look at the balanced equation, it's 2 is to 1 is to 3 is to 1. Sorry, 2 is to 1 is to 3 is to 1. So if you go down here, 2 is to 1 is to 3 is to 1. The same ratio in the moles as in the balanced equation. And all you've got to do then is to turn, as we said, your 0 0.03 grams of malachite, or moles, 0 0.03 moles of malachite into grams by multiplying by the mass of malachite, which you get from adding these up from the periodic table. Then turn 0 0.1 moles of carbon dioxide into litres at STP. So that's 22.4. And the last thing then it simply says, how do you look after the painting to stop further deterioration? Answer, by cutting off the oxygen, by cutting off humidity, by cutting away light in any way possible. So varnish it, keep it in a warm room, lower the humidity, don't have it in direct sunlight, etc, etc, etc. Okay, I hope that helps.